what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are taking a look in Broad Street at the Philadelphia Flyers as we have, you guessed it, not such great news. An update on Sean Couturier. Things are not going so well for him in training camp so far. We'll go over his health and what it could mean for the Flyers this season. Um, but before I get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to my other YouTube channel, Goal Line Sports. Guys, make sure to check that out if you want to help support me. It's all about college football. We are the next generation of college football. So make sure to check that channel out just to help me out. And again, if you're interested in college football, make sure to check that out as well. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the Philadelphia Flyers. So the Philadelphia Flyers, not such great news to start this season. As if things could, couldn't go so well right off the bat. You know, John Tortorella coming out saying he doesn't like the locker room here. Keith Yandel just announced he's retiring at 36 years old. He's heading back to Florida and saying, yeah, I'm done playing hockey. And I don't blame him for not wanting to come back to Philly because this could be a rough year for the Flyers faithful. Start pulling out those Eagles jerseys. I think it's going to be one of those years. Um, breaking news. The Flyers forward Sean Couturier could miss several months, if not the whole season, with a back injury believed to be a herniated disc. Poor Anthony San Filipino. Um, the player and club are seeking second opinions from doctors to determine the exact nature and severity of the injury. The pain occurred within the last few days during an informal skate. So, as if things, like I said, couldn't go off to a worse start for the Flyers, here we go. Uh, they're already going to start dipping into their depth, and I think this is where the Flyers season just spirals out of control. Now, anybody has, that has the idea of the Flyers making the playoffs, I mean, you have to be questioning yourself right now, as now Couturier's down. Um, it, it's just a never-ending, revolving door. I mean, you look at that center group right now, you have Kevin Hayes, Good center. Scott Lawton, Zach McEwen, Morgan Frost, and Patrick Brown. Oof. Yeah, that, that's not toward the top of the league in terms of center cores. Because at this point, I mean, who is your second line center? Is it Morgan Frost? Like, I'm seriously asking that. Is it Morgan Frost? Because, I mean, I guess Lawton could start this season at center, but that... Scott Lawton is not a second-line center, let's be honest. So the Flyers are already down the rabbit hole before opening night of this season, and I just don't I don't know where things get better for this team. This is a tough start. Keith Yandel retired, so they lose some depth on the blue line. Not that I think Flyers fans are too upset about that. They didn't like Yandel that much. He wasn't much of a defensive guy, but... This is a big season for some of these Flyers. I mean, Ronnie Adderd, Cam York, both on the final years of their entry-level contracts. It's kind of a big season for those guys because they are hopefully the future core of the Flyers' blue line. Um, you want to see some um, improvement back to Ivan Provorov, back to what he was before last season. You know, this is a tough spot for the Flyers, and I just don't see them having enough depth. I don't see them having enough scoring. Like, like I said, I look at that group. And there's just not enough scoring there. You know, I have to be honest. And now Couturier's gone for this season. I don't see, you know, if they're already having locker room problems, I don't see how that helps issues. The fiery nature of Peter, La you know, not Peter Laviolette. He's been long gone from Philadelphia. From John Tortorella, I think that could rub off the team really badly, especially like a veteran team like this. I just don't see that really gelling that well. And if they start the season, like, 2-15, and 15. I mean, I don't see Tortorella's message lasting that long. I don't want to call worst-case scenario here, but I think most Flyers fans are kind of expecting it. You know, I think this is one of those things where you've got a new leadership core, you don't have Giroux as your captain anymore, you've kind of lost one of your other big leaders here in Couturier. Yandel was a pretty high-end you know, he was a leader in that locker room as well. I mean, what are you down to at this point, right? JVR, a lot of Flyers fans aren't happy with him either, right? JVR, um, Travis Konechny at this point, um, Scott Lawton, you could argue, obviously Kevin Hayes, but, I mean, you're talking about three core guys just 
poof, just like that, out of your lineup. And according to Daily Faceoff, I mean, they still have Sean Couturier as the first line center. Yeah, no, not anymore. So you're in a spot where you're looking at either Konechny or Lawton being your first line center. Big gulp on that. Then you've got Kevin Hayes, I guess. Does Kevin Hayes become the first line center at that point, right? Man, this is going to be a rough season for Philly. Ooh. Because, again, and I see Joel Farabee now goes into the top six. I'm fine with that. Morgan Frost, third line center, fine with that. McEwen, Brown, and Delorier, those are going to be brow beaters. That is going to be a tough, tough fourth line. Provrov and D'Angelo on the blue line, Sandheim and Ristolainen, and York and Braun. I mean, I think their defense is actually pretty good. Like, it's actually decent. You know, I think that D'Angelo is a complimentary replacement to Ellis, especially with the fact he was non-existent for most of last year. So I think that blue line is their strength this season, surprisingly enough. But again, it comes down to Tortorella's system. Can he implement that system and make this team better than what they look like on paper? But again, I've talked about this before. You can only cover up center depth deficiencies for so long. And when you see an underperforming Morgan Frost, no Couturier, Patrick Brown is your fourth line center. I just don't know what this fly. I don't see a Flyers path this season where they make the playoffs. I really don't. And I and maybe they proved me wrong this year. And Tortorella comes in there, changes things around. That blue line looks good on paper. They're better than even what we're giving them credit for. We see Felix Sandstrom and Carter Hart come in and become a really good goalie tandem. I don't know. But at this rate, I'm not a fan of the Flyers. I, I would be selling all my stock on the Flyers if you haven't already. It might be too late. But let me know what you guys think of the Flyers. What do you guys think this season's going to look like? Do they make the playoffs? Do they miss the playoffs? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.